guys, Lene Monet here and I am back with another video. Today, we will be eating steak fajitas. So if you're interested, stay tuned because we're about to get right into the video. All right, guys, so it's another one. We did another one. We did another one. We did another one. Your girl was back in the kitchen chefing it up, baby. And as you know, if you watched my last video with my spicy chicken sandwich, you know I'm going to give you the deets. So just hold tight, all right? Now, let me just go ahead and give you guys a close-up. <laughs> let me show you what we work. All right, with. guys, so here we have our two steak fajitas with sour cream on the side. Oh my goodness, these look so good. Yum. I am excited. I hope y'all excited because I'm excited. Mm -hmm. This is it. This is it. Ooh. Ooh. Woo! So hungry. Are y'all ready for me to take a bite? Because I really want to take a bite. I got some sour cream on the side. I don't know if I'll need it just yet. You know, sometimes I want some sour cream and sometimes I don't, you know. It all just depends. You feel me? Ladies, do you feel me? All right, so let's start with this one. I am so hungry. It's not even funny. Look at this thing. It's not playing with you. It did not come to play. It came to slay. Look at this. Uh-uh. I need to take a bite. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, hold on. Yeah, I have to take another bite. No, I have to. No. No, I have to do it. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. That is so flavorful. Hold on. Hold on. I need my paper towel. Mm. Now, you know, because I had to do my own fajitas, I had to add a little twist, okay? I just didn't want to come on here with no basic, you know what I'm saying? I ain't want to be too basic, you feel me? You know, I decided the last minute that maybe, maybe I want a little crunch, you know? So, I put a little bit of oil in the pan, and I did add a little crunch to them flour tortillas, and I ain't mad at it. I'm going to let you know right now, I'm not even mad at that decision, all right? Because it's still a fajita if you ask me. All right? It got all the flavors. It's kicking brand new flavors in your ear, okay? I like that. We, we, if I'm going to do it, we ain't going to do it how everybody else do it. Because everybody already doing it. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Now, shoot, give me all hot and bothered now. Don't upset me now. Look at this person watching me. Y'all, I be so funny when people be watching me eat. I know they be like, this girl. This girl is crazy. Now, this thing is so flavorful. Look at all that. Let me, let me tell you something. Let me tell you about something. Let me tell you something about making your own food. You can go ahead and do what you want to do, baby. I don't have to be waiting to see if somebody in a good mood that day. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I'm saying? Is they going to be light on the meat, heavy on the mayo? I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? I can I can decide whatever ratio I decide I want to do, I can go that way. Okay, don't be shy. Put some more. <laughs> okay, don't be shy. Put some more. That's that's how I was feeling in the kitchen. I'm like, you know what? Let me add a little bit more. I'm gonna take I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take another bite. Mmm. 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 It looks like I just want to go ahead and keep eating, but I got to tell y'all something, okay? This recipe is so easy. This is probably the easiest recipe I have put out. I'm going to tell you where all your time going to go. Preparation, right? So prepping. 
that's where your time is going to go. You want to go ahead and marinate your steak. Now, the best steak to use is skirt steak. That's the best steak to use for fajitas is skirt steak because you can get a nice little char on it. It just holds flavor really well. But if you don't have that, don't worry. I didn't. That's not what's up in here. Okay. You see this deliciousness, baby? Did you see it? Did you see it? Open your eyes up and look at it. I hate when I got to make you do things that you that you really didn't want to do, but I, I had to make you do it. That's not a skirt steak. Actually, I don't remember what kind of steak it is. I ain't going to hold you. You know what I'm saying? I don't remember because it was in the freezer. And y'all know I'm trying to make things work with what I have already in the house. So I'm not trying to go to the grocery store and just buy a skirt steak. I'm not going to put my life at risk to go get no skirt steak when I got steak up in the house and I can make things work now. You hear what I'm saying? Are you listening? Okay, let me take a bite. Let me take a bite. Hold on now. Look at it. Ain't just hanging out. Do you? Mm, mm, mm. so if you know you want this meal a couple days in advance possibly maybe maybe you want it today so you need no no if you don't no, because you should marinate steak. I'm going to tell you, you can't make it today. I'm sorry. And I don't want to take nothing away from you. I don't like taking stuff away from people. I don't like being, putting people on punishment. That's not my thing. But let me tell you this. You need to marinate your steak for at least 24 hours. 24 hours. Now, I marinated my steak. I kind of forgot about it because, you know, my mind be going everywhere. And, girl, I can't keep up with all of it. So, I, it actually stayed in there for 48 hours. Best decision I ever made. The longer the steak marinates, the more tender it's going to be. Okay, you with me? You with me? What I put in the marinade? Soy sauce, red wine vinegar, lime juice, and I'm telling you the acidic things first because if it's not gonna be a skirt steak, you're still gonna use those things, but you really need something to break this meat down, right? So you gotta add some acid to it. Okay, so those are things that I chose to use because I knew, okay, that's definitely gonna get in there and do what I needed to do. All right, I needed to get up in there and make things happen for me. After that, I just went ahead and used whatever seasonings I wanted to use. So I used garlic powder, onion powder, pepper, uh, seasoned salt. I used some fajita seasoning that I had on deck. I said, oh, might as well just put it in there, you know. <laughs> Seems like the right thing to do, so I did it. Um, of course, I put some smoked paprika up in that thing. You feel me? And you can put whatever seasonings you like. I put some steak seasoning in there. Put whatever seasonings you want to put in there because you want to create your own marinade, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, I ain't put no sour cream on it. Don't worry. I got another one. Okay. Once you get that all lathered up, you're going to put it in a plastic bag. I would prefer you put it in a plastic bag because a smaller plastic bag, just so the sauce can be surrounding the meat. That's what you want, right? Go ahead, do away with that, put it in the refrigerator, let it sit. Now, the next thing you want to work on is your pico de gallo, okay? Pico de gallo is what's going to take this dish to the next level, okay? You're right here, right? What you want to do is bring it up to the next level. Go ahead. You're moving a little slow today, and I don't like that. Show them the clip so we can keep going. Didn't I? I don't be realizing that I be eating that fast. I don't think I, I'm thinking my head, I be thinking I don't be eating that fast because I be talking. But girl, ain't a, a little talking ain't going to slow your girl down. That, that's what it lets me know. So I'm a multitasker. Let's dip. 
Let's dip this in some sour cream. Why not? Let's go for it. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you. Me, myself, I'm a sour cream girl. I'm gonna be honest with you. I didn't really like that. Mm -mm. I ain't like that too much. I don't know if it hid too many of the flavors. You know what I'm saying? When something is packed with flavor like this, I don't want to hide the flavors. I didn't do all this to hide them. Mm. Bro. But as I always say to each his own, I'm thirsty. I need something to drink. Got our good old coconut water. My favorite. I don't know what it is about coconut water, but it just makes me so happy. All right. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't really feeling that. I ain't going to hold you. I, I can honestly say that. That got so much flavor, it don't need that sour cream. It's masking the flavor too much for me. I don't like that. I, mean, I, don't, like, I, don't, I don't like how that's going. Look how cute that. I mean, I know that you're not supposed to like add a little toasted because I feel like I wanted it a little bit toasted. And I know you're not supposed to do that. But it was a good decision, so. Okay, so after the Pico de Gallo, right? I decided I'm going to go ahead, chop up my peppers. Simple, easy, boom. Bada bing, bada boom. That was it, right? Take your steak out so it can get room temperature. Heat up your pan. You can heat up your pan to about a medium high. So between medium and medium high is where you should be, right? And you're just going to throw them things up in there. You're going to throw them right on up in there, okay? Throw, throw, them, throw them steaks up in there, but do not cook them too long. Quick. Okay, it strips the steak. You don't need it to be overcooked because it's going to cook outside the pan once you let it rest. So you ain't got to do all that. steak really shouldn't be cooking no more than three to four minutes okay there's no reason that steak should be cooking longer than three to four minutes it is strips you don't want to overcook it because when you sit it on the side you're gonna have to let it rest and it's gonna cook anyway so boom boom done right boom throw your peppers up in it hold on hold on hold on let me tell you hold on let me tell you hold on mmm I can't believe it. Mm. That steak is so tender. Because if it's one thing I do, I hate wrestling back and forth a little hustle and tussle with a piece of steak. I don't like that. I don't like to have to wrestle with no piece of steak, baby. You see how I bit right into that? Wasn't no, wasn't no, wasn't no hassle and wrestle behind that. Mm. I mean, really? Who, who do you think you are? That's what I want to know. I miss y'all. I really did. I really did miss y'all. I like that we had that relationship where when I eat things, I think about you. You know? It's pretty cool.
Mm. Once you do that, it's just time for presentation. All you got to do is warm up your flour tortillas or toast them like how I did. And when I let them cool, I did fold them just so it wouldn't be crunchy and hard to fold once it cooled down. So when it come out the pan, you already fold them how you want it to be. Put them in aluminum foil. You'll keep the heat in. That's what you need to do. And, you know, make as many as you want. So you could do it this way or you could do it the regular way. Either way. The flavor's still going to hit. Okay? Them things going to hit, baby. They ain't missing a shot, baby. I'm getting knocked out KO all day, period. <laughs> okay. Calm down, nah. You always got to take it too far. All right, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Show, show the presentation, please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this little piece i'm getting full as you can see i packed that thing i was not skimp <sighs> what i put on top i know somebody was saying that i know they was like a feeling in my heart like well what is that on top what I just drizzled on top was some, um, you could do Chipotle mayo, you could do spicy mayo, but that was sriracha mayo and some sriracha just to make it look pretty. You got to make stuff look cute. You can't send her out here any kind of way. You know I wasn't about to do that, baby. She had to be dressed to impress, okay? Early, never late. Here you go. <clears throat> I just put, I just, I just put, um, sriracha mayo and some sriracha on top. That's it. miss you guys so 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 much y'all i really do i can't wait for us to get back out here get back to our regularly scheduled program but i can't be honest about this like i am really enjoying cooking these meals for y'all like i love it i really do because like on wednesdays i get to cook like dinner and then on sundays i get to cook like fast food like street food and really i love to cook so it's really like challenging me to be very creative which i naturally am and so i love to step outside the box and do things that i'm not usually used to cooking so on sundays i like this because i get to cook like fast food you know what i mean but like at home and put my own little spin on it and i think it's just so dope so um if you guys have any other ideas definitely let me know of course in the comments below please remember to stay safe i hope everyone is taking extra precautions out here i heard these two weeks is about to get crazy you know what i mean um and i just want everyone to be safe to be honest so if you like this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe also hit that notification bell so you'll know every time i upload until next time guys peace